Hello, welcome to another episode of the Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial series. In this episode, we will learn to create a cell, work with the three-dimensional grid, and build a room. The first thing we need to do is create a space to work in. One way to do this is by duplicating an existing cell. Locate and right click on the interior cell AAA markers and choose duplicate cell. You should see a new cell appear in the cell list. Rename this new cell by selecting it and pressing F2. We'll call this dungeon Lokir's Tomb. Now that you have your own interior cell to work with, be sure to select the Lokir's Tomb cell and not AAA markers and delete the Lokir's Tomb objects listed in the object window, right side of the cell view pane as we'll want to start fresh. Don't worry about deleting the nav mesh for now, we'll get to that later. Right click on Lokir's tomb cell and pick view to assign it to the render window. Let's start by placing our first piece. Locate NOR RMSM wall side 01 and drag it into the render window. Before we go any further, it's important to understand the grid and snapping to it. When we work in the render window, we are actually working within an invisible three dimensional grid. Kit pieces are designed to snap to each other precisely, and the grid is the only way to get this precision. Everything in the creation kit is measured in units. The Nordic Ruin works well on a 128 unit grid. To set this up, either right click anywhere in the render window and choose render window properties, or click this button in the main toolbar. And then we want to choose the movement tab. There are several options in here, but for the moment, we just want to make sure that snap to grid is set to 128 and snap to angle is 45. Click apply to save your settings and then click close. When we return to the render window, we want to make sure that snap to grid is toggled on. This is controlled either with the Q hotkey or clicking this button. Snap to angle should also be enabled. This is toggled with control Q or clicking this button. With NOR RM SM wall side 01 selected, press control D on your keyboard to create a duplicate piece. Once you've created the duplicate object, it's automatically selected for you. Click and drag on the object inside the render window to move the newly created wall piece. With grid snapping turned on, it will lock into place relatively easy. You can't make a room with just two walls. We're also going to need corners. So we're going to go back to the object window and we're going to look for NOR RM SM Core in 01. And we're also going to drag it into the render window. Right click with your mouse button to rotate the piece into the correct orientation to be able to line it up and then drag it into place with your left mouse button. Some kits have a flow. In this kit, walls are either side or front types. The two walls you've placed are side walls. Any perpendicular walls must therefore be of the front type. In this case, it's because of ceiling details that flow the length of the room and using the pieces incorrectly can create large gaps in the ceiling. In the object window, find NOR RM SM wall front 01 and drag it into the render window. Rotate the piece as needed to line it up with one of the corner pieces. We'll go ahead and duplicate the NOR RM SM wall front 01. We'll place three front walls on each side and two side walls on each side, as well as three additional corner pieces to complete the surrounding walls. Now the room is almost complete except for the huge hole in the center. Go to the object window and find NOR RM SM MID 01 and place it into the gap. To check the proper ceiling flow, rotate the camera so you're looking at the ceiling. For example, if you have it rotated improperly, one of the walls may look like this or all the walls. So rotate them so. We've completed a room with walls, a ceiling, and a floor. And that's all for this week's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next week when we will learn to connect rooms and finish our layout. Until then, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.